The scripture goes on, for everyone has sinned, we all fall short of the glory of God. 24, we can go back, Jess. Let's go to 24. Yet God freely and graciously declares that we are righteous. Wait a minute, wait a minute. How could this possibly happen? Because when I look in the mirror and when I think about who I was, I don't feel very righteous at all. See, only a perfect covenant could be given to us by God. He did this through Christ Jesus when he freed us from the penalty of our sins. Continue. For God presented Jesus. Remember I said that Remember I said that only a perfect covenant could be sealed in blood? For God presented Jesus as the sacrifice for our sin. People are made right with God when they believe that Jesus sacrificed his life, shedding his blood. You want to be made right with God? You want to be made right with God? Come on, you have to get a revelation of that fact right there. You want to be made right? You want to be free in your mind? You want to be free in your spirit? You want to experience the abundant life that, that Jesus said he has for us when the Bible says, listen, I have come so that they might have life and have it to the full. You want some of that? Then you better get some of this right here because you won't have one without the other. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that we continue sinning because we're free, but what it means is when you get a hold of this, now your desires begin to change. You don't have to force it. It's not like I just, you know, want to live this way and I'm fighting and gritting my teeth so hard not to do that. But what it is is God begins to change me and he said, you know what, yeah, I'm still struggling, but my desires are changing. And what I did last week, last year, listen, I'm not the same person. I don't want to be that anymore, Lord Jesus. And then you cry out to God. See, the question that we're asking ourselves is, what do we think about God? Is this the God that you serve? 